Previously on Pokemon Sword. I should have switched some of my moves. Okay, Higglyth and Flygon. Okay, we should be good. Is Higgle Sandaconda? It's going to be Sandaconda. Okay, no, it's not Sandaconda. Oh no. <laughs> I made a mistake. I made a mistake for the pain split. Move first. Crap. Come on, Mr. Rhyme. You can finish it. Okay, finally. Finally. So much for that. Hello YouTube, welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Sword. So, as you can see here, we've already caught 220 Pokemon and seen 296. After getting the 8th batch, I decided to come back to the wild area to catch a lot more. And particularly, when we got the 8th badge, we are no longer restricted to catching any type of, po any type of Pokemon because no more level restriction. So we can now catch Pokemon even at even at level 80, level 90, level 70, etc. And so I decided to have at least one episode dedicated to catching new Pokemon. Not to mention this will be a good time to showcase to you guys that we can now catch fully evolved Pokemon like Machamp, Lapras, etc. Machamp, Lapras, Steelix, etc. And so, for the meantime, I'm planning to use this lineup because my main team is currently on their Poké jobs, particularly for EV training. So, we have Komo and Doblade here as false swipe users, and Lapras and Eldegoss to put those Pokémon to sleep. Okay. Silix and Breviary are just there in case we need them. So let's begin. Hmm, this is actually not in favor of us, especially to catching. I can't really. Oh, another focus ash. I can't really. Reduce the Pokemon's HP to 1 if they are not ground or steel type because they are going to faint. Oh, we have an Umbreon here. If I remember correctly, Umbreon has Mindok, so let's switch to Eldegoss immediately. I also turned off the battle animation to make things a lot faster. We're gonna start with Sweet Scent so we can put it to sleep anytime. Then try to reduce its HP at least before putting it to sleep. I may need to try and catch it even at yellow HP because of the sandstorm. Yellow orange HP. One more hyper voice, then I'll use Sing. Try to catch it. <clears throat> the sandstorm itself will reduce the Umbreon's HP anyway. And I only have a limited I only have limited turns to catch it. As much as I want to try and catch it with Pokeball, I don't think we have time for that, so I'll proceed to using Ultra Balls. Only I can, only I can get a critical capture. 
Okay. That worked. Who would have thought that the day would come that we can catch wild Umbreon in the wild area? There's a lot of... Is that a Golurk? Golurk? Anyway, there's a lot of that Golem Pokemon here. Is it because of the Sandstorm? And Excadrill as well. Assault Vest. Okay. Items available by a Pokemon. This offensive vest raises special defense but prevents the use of status moves. We already have a Rhydon. I guess that's it for this area. Maybe if the weather is different. Oh wait, what's the name of this again? Let's catch this guy. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Doublade. Zuelos. I think this Pokemon evolves at level 60. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I thought... I thought I have false swipe for this guy. What? Iron Head, Sacred Sword. Maybe one Iron Head? Okay, that should do it. I will switch to Eldegoss to put it to sleep. I still have Lapras in case. So let's use Sweet Scent. Okay. Aldegos faints, then I will have Lapras using on it. Much easier to catch Pokemon when it is sleeping. Let's try Pokeball. Gotcha. I have also observed this. It's actually easier to catch Pokemon if your Pokemon is at a much higher level than it. To be honest, I'm not sure if that has been the trend ever since. Anyway. So what else do we have here other than those? Maybe we can try catching Pokemon... Not you. We already have Excadrill. Oh crap. Wait, who is that? Oh, it's a Dito. Let's catch it. Let's catch one. Let's catch a Dero. Uh, wait. Hmm. Hyper Potion to Komo, and then we will have Dito transform to Magic Carp. <laughs> Let's see. Something easy to catch. Yeah, let's have it transform to Magic Carp.
almost didn't see this guy. Torito, transform to Magikarp. <laughs> now we can't do anything. Let's try catching it without using false spot. Just put it to slip. Okay, maybe we can use one hyper voice. It's a higher level Ditto anyway. No! Ditto! <laughs> Any more Ditto's here? We already have a Corby Knight. Oh boy, I forgot about Magikarp. Run! Run! Run, Magikarp, run! I need another Dito. Maybe we can respawn it? Hold on. Sorry, Magikarp, you're going to the box. Let me just put another Magikarp in case. I'll just switch when needed. Already have that octopus guy. Hmm, what's in here? Bear tree. Oh, there's a TM there. Let's not forget that. One more shake. Okay, that should do it. Nine berries. Charty, Shuka, Apicot. Apicot. Ataya. And we got the Shadow Claw TM65. I need Ditos, please. Where are the Ditos? Hold up. I may need a fast Pokemon to escape. Everyone has low speed on my party. Maybe I'll switch Doublade to someone else. For someone else. Obstagoon? Level 50, Taunt, Counter, Obstruct, Scare Face. Maybe Braviary. Just so we can escape. Let's try responding the Dero. I'm not even sure if the Dito responds. Oh, there's another. Okay, it responds. I'm gonna switch to Magikarp again and not use Hyper Voice like what I did.
Just put it to sleep. Just put it to sleep with Sing. And then we will see if Ditto adapts the catch rate of the Pokemon it transforms into. Because if we have the catch rate of Magikarp, then it should be easy. Funny how Magikarp is sleeping, but it still splashes. Okay, let's try using a Pokeball. Maybe it has Dito's capture rate. Let's try one more Pokeball. Well, Eldegoss is at a lower level. Let's switch to Lapras instead. Who is also level 56. Put it to sleep with Sing, then let's try using another Pokeball. It's almost at yellow orange HP. Okay, I think this guy has the capture rate of Ditto, not a Magikarp. I thought it also copies the capture rate. So, let's try Great Ball. There we go. We got a Ditto. Transform Pokemon. It can reconstitute its entire cellular structure to change into what it sees, but it returns to normal when it relaxes. Oh, quick powder. I'll get it later. So anything else here? Maybe since we already have a Ditto, let's switch. Let's remove Magikarp from our party. And let me get that quick powder. Then let's have the blade back in the party. Anything else that we can catch here? It's quite tempting to catch that Excadrill, but I have no plans of having one on my on my competitive team. Oh, he. Hippodon. Okay, okay. This guy, we have, we will have no problem reducing its HP to 1 because it's a ground-type Pokemon and it's not affected by the Sandstorm damage. Mm -hmm. Let's use the Komao. That's gonna hurt. Maybe we can use one Dragon Claw. If I remember correctly, this guy has high defense and high HP stat. Oh great! Rest. One more Dragon Claw. Then false swipe. 
Okay, red HP. I should have expected this. You know what? Let's use. Let's just use Dragon Dance, Dragon Dance, and then full swipe. Maybe one Dragon Dance and then Dragon Claw, and then false swipe. Although, let's restore Komal's HP first. If it uses another Earthquake, then this guy would faint. This guy will faint. Okay, I gotta take note of that. It has double edge. Okay, one more false swipe. Hold up. Let's use Noble Roar. Let's use Noble Roar. Reduce its... Okay, that was close. That was close. So it can't roar me because Komo is at a higher level. That's not gonna work. Okay, keep using Roar. I don't think I can switch to Lapras or Eldegoss because... They may be potentially... Oh wait, I can switch to Lapras. Is Eldegoss already at level, level 53? I think I can switch actually. Oop, that should be enough. Don't use double edge. Do not use double edge. Keep using roar. Level 53, okay. You can switch to Eldegoss. It's not going to be affected by roar. <laughs> Sweet scent and then sing. Don't use double edge, please. Don't use double edge. <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Perfect condition to catch it. Let's try Pokeball. Should be enough. Should be enough. Heavyweight Pokemon, stones can get stuck in the parts on their bodies. Double help dislodge such stones, so Ipo don't look after this Pokemon. Hmm, interesting. So both Pokemon are alright with each other. And that's another detail. Let's see if we can get another overworld. Stone. We already have it. We already have that one. Dog trio. We already have a dog trio. Don't tell me you have arena trap. I'm not interested in battling you. Hmm. Interesting. No arena trap. Not you. You already have a golurk. I wonder when the weather is going to change. Hmm. There's no more. It's just another dog trio. Couldn't get away. What level is the dog trio? Level 50. Hopefully that's high speed, so I guess that's why. Anything else we can catch here? I guess that's it, nothing more. You already have a ride on.
We already have a Sea King. We already have a Gyarados, a Mantine, a Man Mantike. Hmm, I already have a Dread, no? Whoops! I already have a Soul Rock. It's another Sandstorm. Let's explore the other areas. As far as I know, there should be a Hitmonlee thing. Or uh, a Hitmonlee here. But I wonder when it spawns. That's a lot of coughing. Perfect opportunity for a shiny hunt. <gasps> Ooh! A wall flygon! It's a wall flygon! Let's catch it. Uh. Hold up. Let's have the blade learn false swipe. Because Flygon decides to use the dragon attack against Komo and it faints. And let's restore their HP. Your mind, Flygon. You're not interested in me? Don't want to engage me? <laughs> Wild Flygon, wow. Level 51. Let's use Noble Roar first. Okay, it's faster. That hurts. Okay. So you decided to use Sandstorm yourself. Well, you're ground type Pokemon anyway, so it's okay. But it's not okay for my combo. Wait, why did I use a Pokeball? What? <laughs> We'd be really surprised if I managed to catch it. Mm hmm. Dragon Dance, Noble Roar. This is another Noble Roar. Can't really switch to double blade because you'll faint from earthquake. Bug buzz. Okay, let me use hyper potion first. Wait, I thought Hyper Potion restores 200 HP. 120 HP. When did they, since when did they nerf Hyper Potion? I forgot. It used to restore 200 HP of your Pokemon. Hmm, Earthquake and Earth Power. Are you a mixed sweeper? I seriously wasn't expecting to see a wild flag on. 
Anyway, let's, re let's reduce its HP to 1. <laughs> then switch to Lapras or Eldegoss. Eldegoss first for Sweet Scent. Okay, thanks to the Noble Roar, it doesn't deal much damage, even if it's super effective. Wonder if we will be able to catch this Pokemon with just a Pokeball. Or will we need Ultra Ball? Let's try! We can! <laughs> I think we can. Critical capture? Nope. Tick tock. Got ourselves a fly gun. Just keep leveling up Eldegoss. <laughs> okay, Mystic Pokemon, Ground and Dragon type. This Pokemon hides in the heart of sandstorms it creates and seldom appears where people can see it. Guess we got lucky. We just really got lucky. Docile nature. Okay, so this is where... This is where I saw Flygon. In this area. I wonder what's the probability of seeing it. And we are at... What is this area again? We are currently in Dusty... Dusty Bowl. I was expecting a Gigalith. Or a Hitmonlee, but... We saw a Flygon. <laughs> Anyway, let's check. Let's check if we can find more rare Pokemon here. Lots of coughing. Shockle. Gastrodon. You already have a Gastrodon. You already have a Komo. How about here? Gyarados. Anything else besides Gyarados? That's a Nikit. So many coughing here. Not a Sudowoodo again. Okay, we already have a ride on. How about here? We already have a Mudsdale. How about here? Nothing new. Matchup. We don't have a matchup yet. And I think this is the this is a good opportunity to catch a matchup because no electric terrain, just sunlight. Hmm. Anyway, let's catch it. A wild matchup. I have a feeling this guy is at level 60. Level 60. I'm gonna start with 
reducing its attack first. Gotta be careful of that cross chop. <sighs> it used bulk up instead. Oh, come on. Okay. Guess we can use Dragon Claw. It's gonna keep on increasing its defense. Seismic Toss. 60 damage. Okay, that's bad. It actually hit. It actually hit me. Mm. Guess we can use double blade. Can't hit me with its attacks. But I'll need to be careful when I switch to Eldegoss. On using bulk up. Hmm. Already increased. Doublet attack stage by 6 and false swipe still deals little damage. All because of the bulk up. Bulk up increased matchup's defense. Oh, fair enough. Its defense is already increased by six stages. That makes sense. Just hope that it doesn't faint all the goss. Miss, 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 miss. <gasps> Come on. Don't be like that, Machamp. Sleep! Oh boy. Are you serious? You know what? Let's try catching it without putting it to sleep. Let's use Ultra Ball. Yeah. One more. Okay. If I can put it to sleep, then I'll use Great Ball or Ultra Ball. If I can put it to sleep, then Pokeball is enough. Clip swings for arms to rack its opponents with ceaseless punches. And chops from all angles. Go into the box. So two of our your Pokemon fainted, so let's return to the Pokemon Center first. I'm thinking that we can finally catch that Pokemon. We'll see what I'm 
you'll see what I'm talking about later. After healing my part C. Assuming it's still there. Assuming it's still there. I hope it is. Axius Eye. There we go. We're gonna catch that guy, Axorus. Salak Berry. Mm, one more. Okay, let's catch this guy. Komo versus Axorus. Who will win? <laughs> Level 60 or level 65? Level 60. Let's start with Noble Roar. Okay. Starting with Swords Dance. Guillotine. It hit. It hit. With that misly 30 accuracy. Your blade. Maybe we can use Lapras. Now let's go with Double Blade. I'll swipe it until it just left it 1 HP. Maybe 1 Swords Trap. This is not good. Why did you have to use Outrage? Maybe this is the perfect time to use Steelix. Show me your defense, Steelix. That still hurts. Another outrage. Can you stop? <laughs> It's gonna faint at this rate, and it missed. Damn, another swords dance. Seriously, oh god, this is bad. Paralyzed. No. Crap, you get impact. Okay, what did the attack? Good. Good job, Steelix. Maybe one more Thunder Fang. Ooh. Okay, paralysis. Let's catch it with an Ultra Ball. Boink! Nice. <laughs> and this is another prized Pokemon for this episode. Its resilient tusks are its pride and joy. It licks up dirt, taking the minerals it needs to keep its tusks in top condition. I wonder what its nature. Uh, high defense, low speed. Relaxed. Rivalry becomes competitive and deals more damage to Pokemon of the same gender, but deals less to Pokemon of the opposite gender. Hmm, we already have this guy. Who else can we catch? I'm thinking. 
Maybe it's time we check out the dens. See what we can catch in the dance. There should be a den nearby here. Ninjask. Okay, another Dreadno. G Max Dreadno. Any other dens? Just this? Anyway, I guess that's it for this episode. I can say that the main highlight for this is the flagon that we caught. I wonder what's the probability of encountering this guy in the wild. I'll check in Cerebi. <laughs> Who else? Anyway, I'll return to the Pokemon Center first and retrieve my party. And after that, I guess we can go back to the adventure. I'll spend more time searching for more Pokemon. Can finally get everyone back. Okay, jobs. At this time, they should be done. Yeah, completed. HP Seminar, Mr. Rhyme, Sir Zing, and our Beetle. Earned HP point, HP base points. Eevee, effort value. Hmm, we got two nest balls by completing that job. Good job, Sir Zing. Attack seminar for Dam Duck and Dredno. Plus 40 attack base points. Hmm. What is it? Two cans of lemonade. Thank you. Defense seminar for Grud and Perserker. They're also gonna earn 48 effort value for defense. Hmm, what is it? Two nest balls again? Special defense seminar. Or colossal. <laughs> Two kinds of lemonade again. Speed seminar. Gyarados? Yeah, we sent Gyarados. What did you get? Plus 48 effort values in speed. Hmm. Two kinds of lemonade. Okay, good work. Good job, everyone. Well, let's see. Where are they? Mm -hmm. Let me separate my team. Okay. Dark 182, Dreadnought's attack, Berserker's defense, 
Illaboom's Boom's defense. Colossal Special Defense. Okay, I can see that increase in speed of Gyarados because it used to be just two digits and now it's already at 102. Okay, good job everybody. Anyway, that will be it for this episode guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed me catching a bunch of fully evolved Pokemon. I mean, I'm sure it's really a pleasure to see... I mean, personally, it's a pleasure for me to see catching this kind of Pokemon. So I'll see you in the next episode then. Thank you for watching.